Early morning light filters onto the deck of the MV Gemini 6, but fails to wake the sleeping crew. They've been up most of the night, loading critical supplies for a rescue mission, bringing relief aid to the remote island of Bantayan, off the northern tip of Cebu. The sleepy fishing and farming island was one of about a dozen in this area to be decimated by Typhoon Haiyan. I can only imagine what the people have been experiencing for the past few days and utter suffering, hunger, utmost devastation, the fear in their eyes. The Cebu-based Rapid Response Team, a civil volunteer group that works with the local governments to help with disaster relief, says 95% of Bantayan was wiped out in the storm. All but forgotten until now, many people here have been without food, clean water and medical services for a week. The roads have only just been cleared, but even then, bringing in aid is hazardous. Look out. And, oops, this one's hit the truck. Okay, he's completely hit this power line. As you can see, this is part of the reason that this is a pretty dangerous trip for these guys to make. We're on a, a truck taking rice down to Santa Fe. Okay, it's not live, is it? Hang on, wait, wait. Wait, whoa. Oh. And something like that can take your head off. These guys are making this trip on a daily basis. Uh, they've just come in with this aid and uh, they're trying to get it down to Santa Fe. And as you can see, it's pretty dangerous. There isn't one house or one power line that hasn't been affected by this typhoon. The seaside resort village of Santa Fe was the last on this island to receive aid. As we arrived, the first responders were confronted by the sheer hunger. As day turned to night, more people came, more hungry mouths to feed. Women and children, the old, the young, the desperate. Uh, now we, we need water and food. We need help. More aid is on its way. International NGOs are planning convoys of supplies. For now, though, this is all they have. They will return tomorrow for giving the goods. Thank you. One more day tomorrow. It has been very chaotic. As a matter of fact, people, you know, um, because it's more of survival, the fittest, you know, they, they want to eat. Less than 20 people were killed on this island. It escaped the tidal surge that drowned so many on Leyte Island. But the power of the wind was evident everywhere. A favourite of mainlanders, there was almost nothing left of Budyong Beachside Resort. Almost all the boats on the island were damaged and vegetable crops destroyed. For now, there's little the islanders can do except wait for more aid and think about how they will rebuild. Craig Leeson, Al Jazeera, Bantayan Island, the Philippines.